Hi everybody, welcome, thanks for joining me today. It's nostalgia day at Bruce Beck in the kitchen. We're going to use my last souvenir from my Mexican restaurants. This is a tin of chipotles and adobo. It's a wonderful product. I'm uh, breaking one open here so you can see that um, chipotles have uh, seeds and membranes inside just like other chiles so you'll want to clean them up and then thinly slice them lengthwise and don't forget to save that wonderful adobo the sauce and the tin it's um, sweet it's hot it's smoky it's a little salty it has a touch of oregano it's just really so full of flavor and fun to use so I've um, decided that today's the day and uh, I'm going to go ahead and make one of my favorite dishes. It's called Tinga Poblana. And uh, here we go. Come with me. We're going to start with the chicken. We're using chicken. It could be pork, but we're using chicken. And uh, we need to poach it until it's very tender. So you'll need, of course, water, a couple of tablespoons of salt, some pieces of onion, a couple of bay leaves, and a garlic clove. That should do it. It needs to poach very gently until it's very tender. So this um, takes at least an hour and 15, maybe even a little bit longer. So just, you know, put it on the back burner and let it go until it's nice and tender. Then when it's um, uh, when you, you've achieved that tenderness and you'll turn it off, let it cool in the broth and then you can take it out. So uh, you can go ahead and uh, pull it while it's warm or you can wait until it's cold. You can do it uh, the next day, whatever's convenient for you. So go ahead and shred that into nice uh, fine shreds and then you'll be all ready to start the sauce for your tinga when you have the chicken all pulled and ready to go. So I've got my ingredients coming up here for the sauce as you will see. There are just a few, just a few things there the uh, onion and tomato, garlic, the chipotles I told you about you're going to need some of that broth. Um, so start with the onions. Get those uh, sliced uh, into thin lengthwise slices. And the garlic also. It seems like everything's thin lengthwise slices for this dish. And you got your tomatoes. And the chipotles come next, which I already showed you. Use about four of them for this dish, but be ready to add some more of the sauce in case um, you feel you need more uh, flavor in your tinga. So uh, when you have your ingredients prepped, then go ahead and get started. Use a big wide pan so that this will cook quickly. A couple of tablespoons of oil. Start with the onions. Cook them until they're tender and just starting to look a little bit golden. You know, it might take 10 minutes or something like that. And then stir in the garlic until it is very flavorful, which will only take really a few seconds. Then you can add your tomatoes, your uh, chipotles in adobo, a couple of tablespoons of tomato paste and a couple of bay leaves and um, start with about a half cup of that uh, chicken broth that you made when you poached your chicken breast. So let this um, come up to the simmer. Stir it fairly often as it cooks and let it get a nice uh, sauce texture. So you know, first the tomatoes will give up their liquid and then that'll reduce and start to thicken. And um, 
So, you know, this is going to take you 10, 15 minutes or so to get this to a really nice sauce texture. Then you can stir in the chicken and heat that all the way through. At this point, you want to start uh, doing a little bit of tasting. You know, you might need a pinch of salt. You can get rid of those bay leaves now. They've done their job. Uh, you can add a little bit more chicken broth. That's a good thing to do. And then let that reduce down until everything's all married together. Maybe another tablespoon or so of that good uh, sauce from the uh, chipotle tin. And uh, so when everything is all together and uh, you've got your seasonings balanced and all of that then you're going to be ready to use your tinga so my vote is for making tacos so you have to heat up your tortillas on a skillet or a griddle with just maybe a tiny hint of oil and uh, get those nice and warm and flexible and you need a little chopped uh, onion and cilantro and a little bit of avocado or even a dab of guacamole. So thank you for joining me today for my Tinga Poblana, the recipes of Bruce Beck in the Kitchen. I hope you'll stop by, come to my YouTube channel. Thanks for joining me.